Yes, hello. Hi. Hello, so uh, your company is named RS Korea, right? That's correct. Uh. I'm, I'm, I'm representing the UK manufacturer of the flue gas analyzers. Mm. Flue gas analyzers, right? Flue gas analyzers, yes. Uh -huh. That's wonderful. So uh, can you tell me what kind of analyzers you have and what products you're most proud of? So the products we have on this side, uh, we have our flue gas analyzers, which are used for the measurements of the byproducts of the combustion process. We range from our domestic analyzers, the 258, the 458S, and then we go into our, our industrial and commercial analyzers, which are the 958 and the 9888. The 988 is our probably our premium product. We're really most proud of this because of where it's used and how it's used by the industrial sector and what it can actually do for them. So this is air quality analyzer, right? It helps with air quality. So it's measuring the combustion process or the byproducts of it that can assist with uh, improving air quality. That's wonderful. So uh, do you want to tell uh, a little more detail about which one is for what? Yeah. So we've got our four main analyzers here. We've got the two smaller ones, the 258 and the Kane 458S. And these are aimed at the domestic market, so a residential heating uh, system where we're looking to look for carbon monoxide, carbon dioxide. So essentially it's keeping people safe and efficient, appliance efficient, so saving them money. When we move to the bottom row here, we have our industrial analyzers. Again, can be used for safety, the measurement of carbon monoxide and prevent poisoning of individuals. But we're also looking at the byproducts of the combustion process and how we can make that more efficient and reducing the emission levels of toxic gases. Yeah, that must be really helpful for toxic gas management in um, industrial use as well, because it could kill people, right? That's correct. Yes. That's correct. And it also, it's global air quality. So it's uh, the oxides of nitrogen that can be carcinogenic. So we're looking to reduce those and by monitoring them, we can then put in preventative measures within the process. Okay, wonderful. Do you have anything else you'd like to introduce, or is that it? I would love to introduce everything else, but unfortunately, that's not my uh, uh, that's not my forte. <laughs> uh, all right, all right. So, uh, where or what's your next plan for Korea? So, the next plan for Korea is to we're looking for uh, type approval for local legislation, which will allow us to move into a different sector altogether, uh, more on the industrial side, which gives us more accreditation. So we have European accreditations and US accreditations. We're now going to complete the circle with the Korean legislation. Mm -hmm. That's wonderful. And do you want to expand globally even more? Which countries are you looking into? So from Kane point of view, uh, we have manufacturing and sales sites in the UK, uh, France, Germany, Korea, uh, America, uh, Mexico, and China now. So from a global point of view, this is, this is the next logical step for us. Mm -hmm. Sounds wonderful. I wish you all the best. Thank you very much. Have a good day. Thank you.